Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Boring here on Racing America, presented by our friends at Five Star Race Car Bodies. I'm Alan Dietz, along with uh, Jess Ballard. And Jess, uh, lots of big races starting this weekend yes. in Pensacola and going till December in Pensacola from this point on. Yeah, this is this kicks off all of the... Uh excitement down in in pensacola there's a bunch of other races going on this weekend it's march we're really hitting the ground running now we, we got started in february we've had a few other big races but everything's really ramping up now well no doubt about that as we take a look here at our pace lap and who'll be on the show with us today bob Sargent and Derek thorne are going to be joining us today to get us ready for the asa stars national series race at five flags also going to talk to toby christie about everything going on in the cup world seth christensen about his big win at the alabama 200 and we'll hear from daytona 500 winner ricky stenhouse but before we do all that the highlights <laughs> We've been doing this for like I a know, year, and I, I every single time, I you totally, genuinely catch me off guard. Yes. Well, let's take a look at the highlights from this past weekend. We mentioned Seth Christensen here on Racing America. You might have seen the Alabama 200 from Montgomery Motor Speedway. And if you did, you saw a lot of this and a lot of this. Cautions, cautions, cautions. But at the end of the day, Seth Christensen taking that big win. And we were also involved with the production this past weekend at uh, New River All-American Speedway for the Battle of the Stars. That race was on Flow Sports, late model stock cars in action. And in the end, I know Jess is going to love this, Butterbean Queen <laughs> taking the win. Why do you think I'd love that? Wouldn't it be nice if there was like a Butterbean Festival somewhere? And yes. A Butterbean Queen. Yes. And I love a good nickname. I love a good theme. I love a good trophy. I love a good nickname. Well, you got all <laughs> of that this weekend and more. You know, um, one other thing I failed to mention uh, that we're going to have on the show uh, a little bit later on, uh, we caught up uh, at New Smyrna, actually, with several drivers uh, that'll be at Pitts Coal this weekend and got their thoughts on this weekend's race. And, and it is pretty unique, you know. It's uh, it's uh, 200 laps. They've got some controlled cautions. Uh, good good bit of tires. I think there, it's a 10-tire race so before you start on, and then you'll have six that you can play, play around with on those cautions. Well, I leave the crew chiefing to Travis. Um, well, you should have asked him what he should would do. <laughs> well, what, yeah, what the thoughts were. But this definitely <clears throat> has like a big race feel because it's not every late model race that you have to take all those things into consideration. That's it, right. It's a lot of the bigger shows, so I think it's gonna it's gonna be interesting to say the least to see what everyone does. And what else is going to be interesting is Thursday. As tomorrow, 6.30 p.m. Eastern, Jess Ballard going to be joined by Keely Dubinsky, the debut of Cars Tour Weekly here on Racing America, and we are really amped up about that. I am very excited. Everyone needs to watch and tell Keely how great she did, and then tell Alan that we just need her to come back for every show. Well, we could... We could work on that, but I got a feeling she's going to say no. Well, when she's we, a busy girl. She's a busy girl. Well, when we come back, we're going to talk to another busy person. That is Bob Sargent as he gets ready for this weekend at Five Flags. Five Star Bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market, aerodynamically engineered. Manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials. Tested tough for optimum performance. The highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five star. Never before in the 70 year history of Far Right Flag Speedway has a season opener been anything quite like this. 
The biggest names in short track racing converge on the high banks of Five Flags Speedway for the opening round of the Deep South Cranes Blizzard Series and the inaugural event of the ASA Stars National Racing Tour. The biggest stars, the fastest cars. It's the Sunshine State 200 for Super Late Models, March 10th and 11th. Go to FiveFlagSpeedway.com for full details. Welcome to Raceface Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then Raceface Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit racefacedigital.com today and use invite code RA1. I'm William Byron, and you're watching Racing America. Welcome back, everybody, to the Bull Ring, presented by our friends at Five Star Race Car Bodies. I'm Alan Dietz, along with Jess Ballard. And there's a little race going on this weekend down at Five Flags, right? Minor. Yeah, minor. Nothing well, anyone's been looking forward to since last year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, on the poll for today's show is Bob Sargent of Track Enterprises. And the race that we're talking about is the ASA Stars National Opener at Five Flags Speedway coming up on Saturday at Pensacola. And Bob, uh, it's finally here. Yeah. You know, this has been a, a long journey. And, uh, we feel really good about everything we got put together, and uh, we're going to have a great race at uh, Five Flags. You know, I've heard a lot of people say it's like a, a mini snowball derby, and when you look at the entry list, the last I've seen uh, has 36 cars on it, and maybe not the numbers of the, of the snowball derby, which nobody would expect, but, I mean, there's literally no slouches in that field. Yeah, we're very happy, very proud of the the quality of this um, entry list, the talent of these drivers and these teams, these car owners. Um, you know, we just think it's going to be second to none, which, which again, we think will lead to uh, some great racing on the racetrack for the fans and the TV audience and just everybody involved. Um, we've, we've tweaked the formats a little bit. Um, we're going to have stage racing. We're going to have some uh, control caution. So we just think that um, the uh, excitement level on the racetrack will be tremendous. We think these drivers will be um, allowed to, um, again, just put on a competitive race, use a lot of strategy throughout the race, and um, deliver a, a great product. I think everyone's really excited about this and are grateful that your team has come together and, and put this into motion because, you know, we've been talking about this for several years, how a series like the ASA Stars Tour needed to exist. So in your opinion, what would make this weekend a success in the eyes of the ASA Stars Tour leadership? Well, again, I think it does go back to the 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 race itself um we can put so many different things in place from fan experience to our te television streaming package to um many many things um the tires um, the rules packages and all that but basically when the green flag drops we're going to have 200 laps of strategy of driver talent of pit crews of um um the uh, manufacturers being involved and all that to provide a great race um, throughout the, the different stages and then do the checkered flag. So I think to be deemed a success, um, we want a, a very exciting race all throughout the 200 laps and then obviously a close finish at the end. So since we last talked to you here on the bull ring back in January, um, lots has happened obviously and i know lots more still to come but you were able to get the the tv deal uh situated and of course racing america will be part of that and you'll be able to tune into racing america this weekend to watch the sunshine state 200 and uh the race will be uh shown i think a week or so later on mav tv 
a lot went into this though because of existing deals for the ASA Southern Super Series, ASA CRA Super Series, and the ASA Midwest Tour. It really did. Um, this was a, a, a so much um, starting from scratch. You know, so many of these streaming partners' budgets were gone. So many were overlapping with the tracks packages, the the regional series, and things of that nature. So we basically had to be creative. We we were fortunate enough to work with Racing America, and as you said, um, uh, Mav TV on a tape delayed basis. So we think that the the, the sponsors and the will get a great amount of exposure out of this but also the fans will get many opportunities to watch it so we're excited about that we're excited about the the program we put together and um, we think it's going to be really long term um i've been fortunate as i said this many times but not only joining the three series together with tim and pat rg and glenn and and greg and angie in the three series we've also been able to bring a lot of people on board um, working for us now. So I think with that combination, so many good people, the old cliche, you know, you're only as good as the people that you surround yourself with. So this has really become a, a much larger project than I thought it was going to be, um, which is good that I've been fortunate to bring all these people on board. And, and I think that the talent and experience of this staff will, will also shine. You'll be able to watch also on Friday here on Racing America, a couple of the local divisions at Five Flags, and then, of course, the stream and all sorts of other coverage on Saturday of the Sunshine State uh, 200. Bob, I appreciate you taking a few minutes out for us today. I know it's a, it's a busy time. It's an exciting time, but uh, I can't wait to, to see Jim Trado and Ralph Shaheen back uh, calling ASA races, and I think it's going to be a great weekend. Yeah, I really do too. And again, I appreciate all your support from Racing America and, and um, thank all the fans and all the teams that are, are supporting us. And uh, as you said earlier, I think this is just the beginning. We still have a lot of ideas and a lot of work to do, and um, we'll get started Saturday at Five Flags. Well, we're glad to be a part of it. Uh, good luck this weekend, and most importantly, uh, try to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to have fun. And uh you know, one thing I'd be remiss to say is all the, the sponsors that are on board now. And we just announced a, a winter circle program for the teams through uh, team construction, Donnie Mingus and, um, you know, uh, Sunoco and Hoosier. And the, the list is pretty long. And uh, I think it'll keep growing and more people will become involved. I think you're right. Uh, good luck again, Bob. We'll talk to you soon, I hope. Thank you. All right, that's Bob Sargent of Track Enterprise again, the Sunshine State 200 coming up this weekend from Five Flags Speedway. Hey, we got to talk to Ricky Stenhouse Jr. last week and catch up with him uh, about his post Daytona 500 uh, uh, celebration and a little bit about short track racing. We'll let you hear that when we come back. What creates a winning combination? Quality, focus, discipline. Most importantly, speed. At Pepper Jack Kennels, we provide exceptional water and land training services for hardworking retrievers. From leading in the field to leading on the track, together we establish winning dogs and a winning team. Devoted to retrievers and motorsports, we are Pepper Jack Kennels. Visit us online to learn more. HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety and the exclusive importer for Schrott belts and Schubert helmets. When risk is around every corner, let our experts help you select the best harness belts, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. Don't make safety an afterthought. We have 25 years of experience of educating our customers on all aspects of driver safety and providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, sprint cars, and sport cars. Visit our stores in Mooresville, North Carolina, or Danvers, Massachusetts. Or check us out online at hmsmotorsport.com to learn the details of our products and, of course, order online. Race fans, Hickory Motor Speedway is the place to be March 17th and 18th. The Pro All-Star Series and American Canadian Tour kick off their seasons with the 18th annual Easter Bunny Weekend of Speed. Two huge nights of racing with over 500 laps of late model action beginning on Friday night, March 17th. 
the Easter Bunny Weekend of Speed at Hickory Motor Speedway, March 17th and 18th. And you can see it all on Racing America. All time would probably be, um, I won a race at South Boston. Um, it was, I think I was in the k &N series at the time and I, I hadn't won a race that year um, in the late model. And so I, I think it was just a big, a big win for me. Our car wasn't exactly that great, but I figured something out and was running a different line than the other guys and, uh, and passed all the way up to lead and, and kind of, I think I was running like fourth or fifth and passed all those guys and, and got up to the lead. So it was just kind of a, a crazy race because I just found something that worked and um, took my car to the front. Hey, Davey Bank here with us on the Bull Ring, presented by Five Star Race Car Bodies. And you know, Jess, one of the things that we take pride in here at Racing America is we get you covered on your short track stuff. We cover your on the cup racing stuff with Toby Christie and uh, Joseph Strigley and a whole bunch of other folks. Holly uh, doing a great job as well for us with that. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, our 24 7 channel on uh, connected devices, free on connected devices. We recently got to talk to Ricky Stenhouse Jr. actually last week. As we go to our racing route segment now, we asked him about keeping those short track dreams alive all the way to the Daytona 500. I would say the biggest advice I could give a short tracker that's you know trying to get to this level is you just got to take every opportunity and, and make the most of it. Um, you know whether you think it's a big opportunity or a small opportunity, um, you know any one of those can can change your life and so for me you know i, I went to arizona and you know won a sprint car and a, a silver crown race in the same night all of a sudden a month and a half later i'm driving for tony stewart and his sprint car team and then you know that year goes by we had a great year all of a sudden i'm signing with roush fenway racing you know and that was all within a span of a year and uh, you know so for me it was just love what you do and, and just take every opportunity and, and try to make the most of it you know, Jess, uh, you think back to, I don't know, a decade or so ago, maybe a little bit longer, you know, Ricky Stenhouse, uh, racing sprint cars. He got noticed by Tony Stewart and, you know, like he said, uh, it, it went to Jack Roush and, and from there on to where he's at now with JTG Darty and it's taken advantage of those opportunities when they come of every opportunity. And, and like you mentioned before the segment that you know we cover the short track racing in the cup series it's a beautiful thing when the two are connected and there's a story there and a lot of these drivers have really great stories makes them easy to cheer for and it's it's um motivating for those that are trying to follow in their footsteps and and ricky's a great example of you know when, when things happen you gotta take advantage of the moment and the situation and and You'll make it. Well, it was really neat going over there last week. Uh, the last time I was there, it was a number of years ago. It's when the Wood Brothers were still uh, in the JTG Darty shops. And um, I uh, I just couldn't believe how empty it was compared to Hendrick Motorsports and stuff. And you say, wow, these guys came together, put a good piece together. I mean, and the Daytona 500 trophy sitting there in the shop. That's a whole nother feel good story from from that win. You got Ricky who came up the ranks starting as a short track racer. Then you got this, you know, smaller underdog team that wins. It's feel good stories all around. Well, a feel good story last year, of course, at the Snowball Derby was Derek Thorne finally getting that elusive win and speaking of guys that I think could definitely get it done on the cup level had he got the right opportunities Derek Thorne he's going to join us and get us ready again for the ASA Stars National at Five Flags Communication is key in the racing world 
When it comes to at-the-track communications, there is only one place to call. Racing Electronics is the number one source for professional race communications worldwide. Over 20 years in the business proves their dedication to the sport. With every driver and crew communication, two-way radios and headsets, scanners and more, Racing Electronics is a one-stop communication source for all your motorsports needs. Before the green flag flies, make sure you have all your team communication gear from Racing Electronics. Stop by and see a Racing Electronics representative at the track near you. Visit their showroom in Concord, North Carolina, or order online at racingelectronics.com. Never before in the 70-year history of Fall Lake Flag Speedway has a season opener been anything quite like this. The biggest names in short track racing converge on the high banks of Five Flag Speedway for the opening round of the Deep South Cranes Blizzard Series and the inaugural event of the ASA Stars National Racing Tour. The biggest stars, the fastest cars. It's the Sunshine State 200 for Super Late Models, March 10th and 11th. Go to FiveFlagSpeedway.com for full details. Cirque Motorsport has been providing industry-leading cleaning and analysis for heat exchangers for over 15 years. Now that same technology is here, in the U.S., tailored to your specific competitive needs for every racing market. The only 100% certain way to know that your, your cooler is clean. Go to CirqueMotorsport.com and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for more details on how we can help you gain Cirque speed. I'm Gabe Summers and you're watching Racing America. Well, one of the drivers that we'll be watching this weekend, of course, here on Racing America in the ASA Stars National Opener at Five Flags. He is a pavement pounder. Mm -hmm. Is Derek Thorne, the defending winner of the Snowball Derby? Derek joining us from his shop in California now. And Derek, uh, I know you've got to love hearing defending Snowball Derby winner. It definitely hasn't gotten old yet. I'll tell you that. I'm not sure if it will, but definitely not today. So it's good to hear. Thanks for having me on, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, things uh, are a little bit different uh, this time going back to, to Five Flags. For one thing, you're not driving across the country right now. Um, you're you're teamed up with the Schaefer Motorsports team. Tell me how that all came about. You're going to be behind the wheel of the car number seven this weekend. And yep. how do you feel going in there maybe now with something a little bit different than what you're used to? Right, right. So Schaefer Motorsports, you know, they've been a staple in the Midwest for years. And um, Chris Purdy has been the crew chief for Paulie and Paul Schaefer there for, I, I'm taking like the last five or six years. And Backtrack 15 years, um, when I lived in California originally, my very first venture east or to the Midwest was to run ASA late models. Um, at the time, it was the ASA Challenge Series, and Chris Purdy um, was my crew chief. So we ran the ASA Challenge Series, I think, in 07 or 08, and got to run tracks like the Milwaukee Mile, Bristol Motor Speedway, Pensacola, Florida, Iowa. Um, so for me to come from my little hometown in Northern California to go back east and do all that, you know, Purdy and I built quite a relationship. and always kept in touch over the years and as you know Campbell was his time time, time was coming to an end um I started kind of putting my feelers out and started talking to Purdy and he's already an alliance with Fury we do a lot of the same things we already had the relationship from the past and the timing and the fit was perfect and we were able to take kind of what we've done on the west coast with myself and Mike Keen and able to kind of translate that and found five races that uh would fit their schedule with me driving and Pensacola happened to be the first one and it's been 15 years since I worked with Purdy, but looking forward to kind of picking up to where we left off. It was, I was laughing with Purdy the day we were actually, um, I found the old notes. We, we Last time we worked together, it was actually in Pensacola um, a little over 15 years ago. We ended up second, but um, the the relationships there, the our information we've had from all of our success in the past is there. Obviously, there's always a transition of everybody getting used to one another, but just can't thank Paul Schaefer and Chris Purdy enough and all of our sponsors, Pepper Jack Kennels, the Tool Shack, Reeves, Complete Auto Center, and all these guys that have worked really hard to kind of keep us going and have, have me or give me another shot to continue on to 2023. So as we would say in my home state of South Carolina, is it safe to say that you feel like you guys are going to be pretty good this weekend? <laughs> pretty good. I like that. I sure hope so. It's always there, right? So Mike Keen and myself, we have a shop in California now. We had to move um, when Byron closed down. We moved to a shop about 10 minutes down the road, but um, trying to do a lot of the same things. You know, we went to this uh, winter showdown this year um, with 
Jacob Gomes and John Moore, who ended up one, two. Um, so I feel like we have a good thing going so far into 2023. Um, obviously racing is a very humbling sport, so we'll go into it and just take it for what it's worth. And hopefully we get the speed and the, hopefully the luck falls the same way. So does going back to Pensacola with, you know, the snowball derby win under your belt did, as a driver, does it give you more confidence when you return to a track that you've won at or is the slate wiped clean every time? He had only led like a thousand laps before he won the race. <laughs> oh, that's, you. yeah. I mean, I guess this is, would you say this is your strongest track? You know, we just have a really good package. You know, Mike Keenan, myself and Campbell, we've been going for a decade, right? And the very first time I ended up flipping, you know, and the times in between the time we flipped and then we finally won, there was a lot of ups and downs in between there. And Pensacola is one of those tracks where you try not to get too confident going in because it will humble you real quick. Um, even from one day to the next, you know, depending on how the weather is. But yes, you know, I feel, um, to go back on your question is no, I don't necessarily, I feel like I have the confidence, but at the same time, you kind of go, go into it a blank slate and just be prepared for the unknown. You know, this is the first ASA tours race and it's kind of a short, it's different. It's a different structure to the amount of laps you got to run on a set of tires, 200 lap race. They give you six tires to run. They give you some competition cautions at 75 and 150. So there's going to be a lot of strategy that goes into it as far as who has the best tires at the end and how the cautions fall. And, you know, as any racing you could, like we did the first two derbies and we about had it, but just almost didn't. You know, it's not over till it's over and you just never know how the cards might fall. Besides the uh, five races in the Schaefer car, what else have uh, you got on tap? I know I saw uh, you're going to run a Northwest race here coming up. I am. Yeah, it was awesome. It was uh, Jeff Jefferson, who I've known, you know, I worked with his brother um, years ago when I first moved to Bakersfield. The Jefferson family is a staple in the Northwest and they ran really good at the winter shutdown this year. And then we had been in talks about running a race possibly up in the Northwest and it came together for Wenatchee. So I'll go up there with Jeff Jefferson and Jefferson racing and run with those guys um, in the middle of June, or the first part of June. And then um, might be back in Pensacola in mid July. So it's kind of, with the schedule we have with our customers out west, it's it's you know you got to kind of pick and choose because you can't be gone every weekend. Plus, trying to keep the wife and the kids happy at home at the same time. So, just you know, it's kind of a new adventure for me. This year has been a lot of fun. You know, just a lot of new doors opening, a lot of things. You know, just different perspective on things. Um, now that things have changed a little bit, but you know, so far, knock on wood, we've been surrounded by a lot of great people, and so far, some cool opportunities have really come together. Now, I know I asked you at the Snowball Derby, but what what happened to those cars, the the derby winning car and the one you still had on the trailer that you thought might be even better? <laughs> the one on the trailer that might be even better is actually the one we're racing this weekend. Oh, wow. <laughs> Perfect. So, yeah, so that worked out well. And then uh, the derby car, actually, my wife's getting pissed at me because the shop I have is about 2,000 square feet, and I don't have room for much here at the shop with the customers we have, so. Uh, wife's been parking outside and I got the snowflake car and a snowball <laughs> car in my garage oh, sitting at home on jack stands uh, just waiting for another opportunity that might arise yeah I don't think I'd be selling them just yet unless somebody <laughs> wins yet. the lottery <laughs> right alright man well be careful heading, uh, heading east this weekend and uh, good luck uh, maybe to the competition but <laughs> uh, <laughs> hope you have another good one out there I appreciate you guys thank you so much for what you do for short track racing and thanks for having me on alright talk to you later I'd see. Well, he, that's some bad news for everybody. It huh? is, and, but I'm so glad to see him going to this race because it truly wouldn't like it wouldn't be a big race at Pensacola without him in the field. Which is crazy, a race in Florida and a guy that lives in California. Yes, it's just the, the whole the whole the whole dynamic is is uh is pretty unique, but. Uh, think he'll be up towards the front i got a feeling yeah carl looked different but uh i think he'll be up towards the front when we come back of course uh big news coming out of nascar last week with chase elliott's uh snowboarding injury toby christie's going to join us see if he's got any insight on how the future looks for henrik motorsports right now Five Star Bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market. Aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials. Tested tough for optimum performance. The highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five Star. 
SRI Performance and Stock Car Steel are your all-inclusive motorsports warehouses with more than 450 product lines. They have everything to put you in victory lane, from professional racing to street performance. SRI and Stock Car Steel have you covered with leading brands as well as a large selection of steel, aluminum, and plastics. With locations in North Carolina and Indiana, access has never been easier. SRI has the world's largest inventory of used parts. SRI Performance in Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, your one-stop shops for everything racing. Welcome to the new home for race fans, Racing America. Live short track racing. Exclusive team content. <laughs> Any NASCAR fan is really a short track fan at heart. Behind the scenes access. From grassroots to NASCAR, join us at the home for race fans everywhere. Racing America, it's in our DNA. Rhino Classifieds is an online classifieds platform built for racers and race fans. Rhino makes finding parts, trailers, and specialty vehicles easy. Posting is free. Signing up is free. That's a lot of free. So jump in and join the most streamlined motorsports-focused classifieds out there at rhino.co. That's R-Y-N-O dot C-O. Glad to have you back here with us on the Bull Ring, presented by Five Star Race Car Bodies. I'm Alan Dietz, along with Jess Ballard. And now, in our Road to the Cup segment, Toby Christie here with us to talk a little bit of NASCAR. And, um, of course, the big news that came out of last weekend was the entire Chase Elliott situation. Um, before we even talk about, you know, couldas and wouldas and what may happen, how from a uh a news perspective did it all go down and and how did you guys all kind of find out about it to report it i mean it was one of those situations where you kind of hear rumblings that something's happening to a pretty important driver in the nascar cup series and everybody's kind of on high alert like well okay who is it and how important of a driver are we talking here um and then when the news starts rolling in it's like oh my gosh okay that's the sport's most popular driver 2020 cup series champion this is a pretty big deal so uh, pretty intense. Yes, do you have anything? <laughs> you'd I'm like just to like add? I'm really I'm 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 thinking in my head like hmm I'd love to be on the list that gets all these uh, stories sent to me. By the way, I'm looking at the screen here. Jess looks radiant, and we look like us. So <laughs> this is a uh, interesting yeah. contrast uh, here that the folks are watching at home. I look like a polished turd compared to her. <laughs> no. So were you surprised to um, then find out who the replacement driver was? I can't remember. Did they announce the that Josh Berry was driving at the same time they that announced was fairly that he wasn't. immediate yeah it was pretty quick and they were limited on what they could do just because they didn't want to have to change out seats and stuff like that uh they were limited on what they had uh out there at the time so josh was the guy that kind of fit the seat the best uh in that amount of time and uh had kind of a similar driving style they felt to chase obviously the the results weren't what they were wanting but i mean josh for being his first race in a next gen car first laps in a next gen car i feel like he did pretty good yeah so what are we seeing uh right now at least from your viewpoint as to where this this season's kind of pointed you know i think overall we've got, we've had a pretty good start to the season uh chevrolet has come out on fire like you said we've got three different winners from chevrolet already to start the season all three different teams three different drivers uh so they've got to be feeling pretty good right now they've got a pretty uh pretty good lead in the manufacturer standings through three races uh but overall i, I think we've seen a lot of drivers competing for top spots of course this week was a Hendrick dominated event, but uh, before this weekend, I think it was kind of anybody's ball game, honestly. You know, um, kind of in the office, we we've been talking amongst ourselves about another uh, Chevy team, and that's uh, that's Corey LaJoy, and I think he's finished in the top twenty every race this year. Uh, that team is doing exactly what you want to do if if you're uh, a smaller team. It's incrementally every year improving. 
for sure. They're one of eight teams that have finished in the top 20 in every race to this point. So they're doing something right. And conversely, it's kind of weird because the 77 car is not quite backing up those same performances, but uh, Corey LaJoy and the seven team are definitely uh, knocking out of the park to start the start the season. I think they've opened a lot of eyes uh, and they look like they're on the verge of, you know, competing top 15 consistently week in and week out and possibly some top tens. Who do you think we should be uh, watching this weekend going to Phoenix? I know there was a time where, uh, you know, it was automatically Kevin Harvick. It doesn't seem quite as automatic now, but you got to think the way Chase Briscoe ran there last year that, that the Stuart Haas cars could be positioned pretty well. Well, the question now is it's kind of wide open because we've got a whole new rules package for the shorter tracks like Phoenix. And so we're going to have the first race with it. Uh, very small spoilers, two inch spoiler on the back. They're cutting uh, down force NASCAR saying by 30%. I've seen Danny Hamlin say up to about 40% is what it's he's good. estimating. They so just take the spoilers off of them all together. I agree. I think a lot of people do. So I, I really don't know. I think it's kind of wide open again this week. It's going to be a completely different package than what we've seen and everything else. It's going to take a lot of different uh, stuff to kind of be at the front this weekend. Uh, and I think it opens it up to anybody who kind of hits on something early out of the out of the truck. So uh, I, I really don't know who to expect. Uh, I, I really think somebody like a Denny Hamlin, who's usually pretty good at places like this, who's really good with tire wear, uh, could be pretty good because they're going to be slinging the cars to the side, you would think, coming off the turns, burning the tires off. And I think he's the guy that could probably uh, keep it under him throughout the race. Where can everybody see your reports at? Uh, TobyChristie.com, RacingAmerica.com as well. We've been uh, knocking some stuff out there uh, for you guys as well. And uh uh, you can go to Twitter at Toby underscore Christie. Toby Christie com is our website's uh, uh, Twitter handle as well. Instagram, TikTok, everything else. Toby Christie com. Mm, TikTok. That's right. We're everywhere. Good on you guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, be sure to check all of that out to find out what's going on at Phoenix and beyond. We come back. We're going to talk to a young race car driver who started the season off very strong with a win at Montgomery. Seth Christensen will be here with us after this. Five Star Bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market. Aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials. Tested tough for optimum performance. The highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five Star. Welcome to RaceFace Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then RaceFace Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit racefacedigital.com today and use invite code RA1. HMS Motorsport is the leader in motorsport safety and the exclusive importer for Schrote belts and Schubert helmets. When risk is around every corner, let our experts help you select the best harness belts, head restraints, helmets, and racing attire for your type of racing. Don't make safety an afterthought. We have 25 years of experience of educating our customers on all aspects of driver safety and providing the most advanced driver safety products to NASCAR, IndyCar, sprint cars and sport cars visit our stores in mooresville north carolina or danvers massachusetts or check us out online at hmsmotorsport.com to learn the details of our products and of course order online never before in the 70 year history of far right flag speedway has a season opener been anything quite like this the biggest names in short track racing converge on the high banks of Five Flag Speedway for the opening round of the Deep South Cranes Blizzard Series and the inaugural event of the ASA Stars National Racing Tour. The biggest stars, the fastest cars. It's the Sunshine State 200 for Super Late Models, March 10th and 11th. Go to FiveFlagSpeedway.com for full details. Welcome back to the Bull Ring, presented by Five Star Race Car Bodies. Alan and Jess here with you this afternoon. And our lucky dog is the winner of this past weekend's Alabama 200 at Montgomery Motor Speedway, Seth Christensen. Seth, I uh, really appreciate you joining us, and uh, congratulations on the win. Thank you guys for having me. 
what's well first off before i ask you that tell me about the race this weekend there's a lot of carnage um i watched the beginning of the race and i noticed you dropped back some because i was watching the car thinking it was jake garcia to tell you the truth because i was i wasn't watching the whole thing so i said man he ain't running good and then the announcer said and seth christian i was like oh seth is a young kid i was like he no wonder he's dropping back. So how did you get it all figured out and end up winning this thing? So going into the race, we knew it was going to be a very long, very long race, uh, 200 laps to be exact. And um, right off the bat, we knew we were just going to have to save tires, just save our stuff and wait for the end and wait for an opportunity. So about 120 laps into the race, I believe, I would, uh, we had a little bit of damage on the right front. So we came in at the next caution, got that fixed. And Instead of taking tires like everybody else or most of the other field, we just put a bunch of fuel on it and went right back out and planned on saving for just a few more laps, uh, precisely about 10 or 20 laps. And we ended up going to about lap 160, and that's when we took tires, and we just waited and waited and waited till we had an opportunity, and luckily that opportunity came, and here we are with the bear. Jess, before you ask your question, for how old are you, Seth? 15. This is how... You are supposed to act, kids, whenever you come on a show after winning a race. He's laughing. <laughs> he's relaxed. He's having a good time. He's giving us more than three-word answers. Am oh, I yeah. right or wrong? Oh, yeah. You're doing a great job, yeah. Seth. I, he's already said more than, than, more than we normally yeah, get. Yeah, right. Well, we've talked about that before. So many people will, um, they just don't, this generation like sometimes doesn't. Like the race sh- go. Great. Even if they uh, won, they don't have the emotion. <laughs> We talked to Katie Hedinger last week, and I was like, I was so yeah, glad to see good. your victory lane picture with you. So excited um, because, I don't know, I just don't don't see it too often. But, okay, back to the bear. Speaking of <laughs> being a great interviewer, you also are great on social media. Seth is a great follow. We talked about the bear a lot last week and the significance of the trophy, how it came to be. Seth took the bear to Waffle House. Yep. And then I thought it was hilarious. Well, I don't remember what your caption was, but it was something like you had a wild dream last night and he's sleeping next to the bear. <laughs> that was so funny. So is this your favorite trophy you've won so far? Oh, by far. Probably <laughs> the best one we've had. <laughs> well, tell me, is there pressure going into that 35 car and working with a guy like Ricky Turner because – of the lineage of Chase Elliott and Chandler Smith and Jake Garcia, and there's so much expected, or does it take the pressure off because you know you're in good equipment, you know you're with one of the best crew chiefs chiefs out there? So it kind of goes both ways. Um, Like you said, with all the people that he's connected with, Chase Elliott, Chandler Smith, and Jake Garcia, those three people are just a few that he's been with. Um, That has a lot of pressure itself, knowing that you have so many eyes on you. Uh, just because of the people that have been in his cars before and in his equipment. Um, but it also, it also, like you said, it takes that, takes that pressure off just because I know I'm in good equipment. I know I'm going to be in good stuff at the end of a race. He's always been good in long run. Like take a look at Jake at the, uh, at the snowflake 100. Um, he was there at the end of the race and ended up finishing second. And um, I, just by watching that race, I knew that he has very good long uh, car that equipment and Jake himself has very good long run speed. And I knew we were going to be there for the end. And all I had to do was just execute on my part. And we did that. And being in such great equipment and, you know, surrounded by folks like Ricky Turner and, and Jake, you're going to learn great habits that you'll take with you, you know, for years down the Mm -hmm. road. Um, So can you share with us your plans for 2023? Do you have a, set in stone plan for what you'll be running so we don't exactly have uh that plan solidified yet uh we would like to uh we're still looking for some more partners to um help us financially just to be able to be able to run these big races for example alabama 200 uh freight auctions uh, auctions.com has been a huge help to us um has been there since since day one we've known matt erickson the president for uh, as long as i can remember and marcus barella as well the owner uh, they're just awesome people to be around, and uh, I just can't thank them enough for giving me the opportunity to run that race. But um, like you said, I don't think we have – we don't have that plan solidified yet, although we're working we're working towards, towards that. 
Well, I can tell you, I uh, I saw some of Jake's early races. I saw a lot of Chandler's early races. Um, you're already starting off better than they did, so uh, it could be a big year for you. Congratulations on the win, and I really appreciate you joining us today. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for having me. This was a blast. Thank you. That's so nice to... to I know. You know yeah. Did a great job in the race car in with the interview yeah i yeah. love having happy guests on our show I not that we have grumpy guests but you can just tell he he loves what he's doing he's having a good time yeah he's he's taking it all in yeah well speaking of taking it all in we have got a big weekend here on racing america coming up stick around we'll tell you lots more about that when we come back Welcome to the new home for race fans, Racing America. Live short track racing. Exclusive team content. <laughs> Any NASCAR fan is really a short track fan at heart. Behind the scenes access. From grassroots to NASCAR, join us at the home for race fans everywhere. Racing America, it's in our DNA. SRI Performance and Stock Car Steel are your all-inclusive motorsports warehouses with more than 450 product lines. They have everything to put you in victory lane, from professional racing to street performance. SRI and Stock Car Steel have you covered with leading brands, as well as a large selection of steel, aluminum, and plastics. With locations in North Carolina and Indiana, access has never been easier. SRI has the world's largest inventory of used parts. SRI Performance in Stock Car Steel and Aluminum, your one-stop shops for everything racing. Race fans, Hickory Motor Speedway is the place to be. March 17th and 18th, the Pro All-Star Series and American Canadian Tour kick off their seasons with the 18th annual Easter Bunny Weekend of Speed. Two huge nights of racing with over 500 laps of late model action beginning on Friday night, March 17th. The Easter Bunny Weekend of Speed at Hickory Motor Speedway, March 17th and 18th. And you can see it all on Racing America. What creates a winning combination? Quality, focus, discipline, and most importantly, speed. At Pepper Jack Kennels, we provide exceptional water and land training services for hardworking retrievers. From leading in the field to leading on the track. Together, we establish winning dogs and a winning team. Devoted to retrievers and motorsports, we are Pepper Jack Kennels. Visit us online to learn more. Glad to have you back here with us on the Bull Ring, presented by Five Star Race Car Bodies. We talked about all the great racing coming up this weekend that you see on Racing America and in other places. So what do you say we go around the corner and see what's coming up? I like that, but I feel like it should have been like taking the turn. Well, you should have thought of that uh, whenever I'm I was working on these graphics. Yeah, the work on one. that and we'll... Corner, get... we don't say corner in racing. Okay. Well, uh, Anyways. I do. So um, we mentioned earlier in the show, Cars Tour Weekly mm -hmm. coming on Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern, preceding... Uh, Dirty Air with Rodney Rodriguez here on Racing America, and we'll be previewing their Cars Tour opener at Southern National Motorsports Park for the Pro Late Models and Late Model Stock Cars of the Cars Tour here on Racing America. Friday night subscribers, you'll get to see local racing from Five Flags Speedway down in Pensacola, and then on Saturday, pay-per-view Racing America, you'll get to see the Sunshine State 200 for the ASA Stars National Series. We talked to some drivers at New Smyrna earlier this year and got their thoughts on this big race. Yeah, I can't wait. Uh, we struggled at Pensacola in the past, and we've stepped up our game quite a bit, so I'm looking forward to get back there. And if things go well there, I'd like to do the Derby, uh, just try to build a notebook early as we can here in the season and get the car as good as we can. Yeah, I know, no, that's me. 10 tires is a lot of, is a lot of tires for 200 laps. Um, and knowing that you're going to have to put two on at some point. So uh, looking forward to that part of it. The pay the pay is good uh, for, at least for this first race. And, I mean, and that's 
that that's what's got to be better for for the series um, or for the teams. And um, it's just um, it's tough on a you know it, it, Super Late Model Racing has changed. It's changed to where it, it is more of a um, it's a business and. Um, and, and, and we still kind of did it as a we do it as a hobby and more than a business. So, um, but uh, we you know we're looking forward to it and we're hoping it's going to bring good things. We're going to try to support what we can and and uh, and maybe we'll be able to make some more. Yeah, looking ahead to the rest of the season. Um, don't know how much I'm going to be able to to get to race, but uh, we're taking it one race at a time right now, and we're going to be at the season opener for the ASA Stars Tour Series for uh, Pensacola. So, see how it goes there. It is. I know uh, there's been a lot of works, you know, a lot of different people, you know, talked about it over the years. And, uh, you know, I, th I think it's great. It's what short track racing needs. I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's it, it hopefully it brings uh, some new sponsors in uh, with some TV stuff and, and new, you know, new drivers, uh, just someone that wants to go racing. these young kids coming up and give them a place to call home and learn and get experience to move on to the next level. So then you got guys that come down with the cup cup deal too and 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 race with us as well so i think it's great we're gonna do you know as many races as we can and uh look forward to, to running you know up and down the country i guess also looking forward to the race of march 11th like you said in pensacola excited for that uh i feel like it's pretty cool because pensacola hasn't had like a really big race besides the snowball derby in a while so it's cool to have like another another gym 200 lap race uh, before the derby too so uh, ex expected a lot of cars you know we have 34 here tonight so I expect probably a little bit more there in Pensacola uh, paying good a lot, of, a lot of laps so excited for it well a lot of those drivers that we heard from Jess I think will be contenders this weekend you had Bubba Pollard Casey Roderick Hunter Robbins uh, some of the younger drivers what are your thoughts headed into this week <laughs> you're like <laughs> Well, what, what are you going to be watching for here on Racing America? We know what the Derby's like. We know what typical Blizzard Series races is like. And this race is really not like either one. Yes. Judge me for my response. But okay. it's it's I'm going to be paying attention to, to the, what the pit crews are wearing. <laughs> They're going to be wearing their pit crew shirts. I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be paying attention to the vibe. Yes. I am because we have talked about this national, the concept of a national late model tour and why it would be beneficial to not only the sport, but the drivers and the fans. And I am excited to see if we encapsulate that, that big show feel, that big tour feel. Um, I wasn't around for the ASA, but like I hear people talk about it all the time about how great it was. Like, I want to feel that. I want to be able to feel it from the broadcast. I want to be able to feel it if I'm sitting in the stands. And so I'm really looking forward to that. I know a lot of work has gone into this. I think they're going to execute, but that's what I'm going to be paying attention to. Well, I think you're right. And the big race feels just continue next week. Uh, the uh, SRL National Series will be at South Alabama Speedway for the Rattler. Subscribers can watch that next Saturday and Sunday. And on Friday and Saturday night, you'll get to see the St. Patrick's Day and Easter Bunny 150s for the past super late models. Act late models will also be there, and the Act Mighty Mini Stocks. That'll be on Racing America pay-per-view. We come back, we'll wrap up another bull ring right after this. Communication is key in the racing world. When it comes to at-the-track communications, there is only one place to call. Racing Electronics is the number one source for professional race communications worldwide. 
Over 20 years in the business proves their dedication to the sport. With every driver and crew communication, two-way radios and headsets, scanners and more, Racing Electronics is a one-stop communication source for all your motorsports needs. Before the green flag flies, make sure you have all your team communication gear from Racing Electronics. Stop by and see a Racing Electronics representative at the track near you. Visit their showroom in Concord, North Carolina, or order online at racingelectronics.com. Hooters and racing go together like killer wings and ice-cold beer. Racing has been at the core of Hooters' DNA from the beginning. Whether it's backing the best drivers or serving up the best food on race day, race fans know Hooters is the real deal. Big screens, great food, good times. Hooters, the official home of race fans. We're back here on the bull ring in the final lap. White flag is out, and uh, we want to thank all of our guests. We had a lot of good guests mm-hmm. here uh, today. Really good show. Bob Sargent, Derek Thorne, Toby Christie, and Seth Christensen. And now it's all about five flags this weekend. Yeah, and I mean, there's just it's a very exciting weekend for short track racing because we got the kickoff of the ASA Stars series and then it's the first cars tour race under the new ownership Mm -hmm. i mean so there's just i am very excited to see maybe a little shift in short track racing and and us build some momentum to you know really build off of well 23 could be a watershed year for short track racing remember cars tour weekly tomorrow that's thursday night 6 30 p.m eastern with jess and, um, of course, we've got all our great uh, shows on, including on our 24-7 Racing America channel, free on connected devices. If you have it, check it out right now. So, again, thanks to all of our guests. Thanks to Jess. I'm Alan Dietz. We'll see you here next week on The Boring. Never before in the 70-year history of Far Right Flag Speedway has a season opener been anything quite like this. The biggest names in short track racing converge on the high banks of Five Flag Speedway for the opening round of the Deep South Cranes Blizzard Series and the inaugural event of the ASA Stars National Racing Tour. The biggest stars, the fastest cars. It's the Sunshine State 200 for Super Late Models, March 10th and 11th. Go to FiveFlagSpeedway.com for full details. Five Star Bodies, the most advanced bodies on the market. Aerodynamically engineered, manufactured from the highest grade and lightest weight materials. Tested tough for optimum performance. The highest quality and most durable products you'll find anywhere. Our products help racers around the world reach victory lane. Winning never looked so good. Faster, lighter, stronger, better. Five Star. Welcome to Raceface Digital Collectible Cards. Are you a driver or a team looking to expand your brand? Want to connect with your fans, give sponsors more exposure, and earn income from all card sales? Then Raceface Digital has you covered. Digitize your brand with five different collectible cards. Enrollment is now open to all drivers and all series. Visit racefacedigital.com today and use invite code RA1. Racing, in my opinion, is as healthy as it's been in the last 15 to 20 years. Just wanted to make that first lap. Go! <laughs> <laughs>